Did you know that DaVinci Resolve has a secret twin? It's called Proxy Generator, and it's here to solve your sluggish editing woes. Sluggish, sluggish, slug. <laughs> and it's here to solve your sluggish editing woes. Because if you've ever struggled with heavy files or just really long rendering, then this video is for you. Okay, let's set the record straight. Blackmagic does have proxy generation built in, but it can feel like using a butter knife when you really need a scalpel. Scalpel. Well, this is where you enter Blackmagic Proxy Generator. It's a separate standalone app made specifically for streamlining proxy generation. It's designed to take your proxy workflow from meh to magic. And yes, it's free. And I gotta be honest, I use it all the time. First things first, why bother using this separate standalone app if Resolve has the built-in basic proxy generation already there? It's simple. Resolve's built-in proxy generation uh, is there, but it's limited. Proxy Generator, on the other hand, runs completely independently. So while that's busy generating those proxies you told it to make, you can still be in your timeline working with the pre-existing footage that still exists, color grading, adding fusion effects, whatever you want to do. And when those files are done being generated, those proxy files, they'll automatically link to what you already have in your timeline or just sitting in your media pool. It's honestly like having a second pair of hands. And here's a pro tip for all you Black Magic camera users out there. If you have the same camera that I'm using to record on right now, which is the Black Magic Cinema Camera 6K, it's the full frame model, or the Pixis 6K, which is the model that comes after the camera that I have, these two cameras record proxies internally while you're recording. So as I'm recording this right now, my camera's automatically generating a proxy for me. So in my instance, I'm not gonna need to generate proxies for this clip, uh, but for other clips that I use, I might. But if you take advantage of this feature, I mean like talk about saving time, right? So now let's open Open up Proxy Generator and check it out. After you've installed DaVinci Resolve, you should just be able to find it in your system. So for example, I'm on Windows, I'm gonna come down here and search Proxy Generator. Blackmagic Proxy Generator pops up right here. I'm gonna open that up and immediately it opens up asking what footage I wanna make proxies out of. Now I already gathered some footage for this, so I'm gonna go to my desktop, go to my Proxify These folder, select folder. Okay, so now, you can see it's added this folder here. We get some options as to what proxies we wanna make. You first get the option to make H.264 8-bit 420 half res 1080p. So this is gonna be like really lightweight, really under the radar, really easy for any computer to play back. Uh, the second option is H.264 8-bit 420 full 1080p, and then you get H.265 10-bit color 420 1080p. If you have a really beefy computer, you could really comfortably choose this bottom one here, but for the sake of the example here in the tutorial, I'm gonna choose the second one. So really, whether you're looking for a balance of uh, speed, quality, or even just a balance of both, Blackmagic Proxy Generator for sure has you covered. And it's worth mentioning that the H.265 option down here, the 10-bit, uh, that can handle some pretty serious color grading too, if you need it. So here's what's really neat. I'm gonna press start right here and this is already starting to generate my proxies and you can see this bar moving here. So here I am on my desktop and if I go into the folder containing the footage that I proxified, aptly titled Proxify These, I open this up and you can see I have my three clips here, but then there's folders that says proxy and then you have the other three clips here. These three clips in the proxy folder are the proxified clips. I also wanna demonstrate how inside of DaVinci Resolve, if you already had these clips imported, we'll put them on a timeline here, uh, you could see this little HQ option right here, right? When I play that back, what that means is it's high quality, it's preferring the original footage, but because I haven't moved where the footage is from and now there's that proxy folder inside the source folder, proxies are automatically linked and that is just extremely cool. So if I go up to this little button right here where it says HQ, HQ, drop down, press prefer proxies. Now I'm working with proxies across my entire timeline. And you can see up here in my media pool with these clips as well, it shows proxy. So now when I play back, any problems that I was having playing back this footage before is automatically gone. That's just because proxies are just so cool. So long story short, as long as you have set of proxy footage uh, in the folder containing your original footage, you're free to import it into Resolve. You're free to convert it to proxy already within Resolve if you've already imported your footage. Resolve makes this process extremely simple. You really can't mess it up. So there you have it. Blackmagic Proxy Generator is not just a tool. It's your ticket to faster edits, smoother workflows, and just overall all in general, less frustration. Whether you're shooting on a Blackmagic cinema camera or you're just dealing with heavy files in general, this standalone app is a must have, you gotta be using it. So if for some reason it didn't come with your download or you uninstalled it, go hit the download button now, become familiar with it and thank me later. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave, <clears throat> jeez. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below what project you think you're going to be using this on, and, and if you think you have anything to gain from me, from this video, or any of the other videos already on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy editing.